For decades, we've talked about the big one, a major earthquake expected to devastate the Pacific Northwest. Now we're getting a better idea of how it will happen. Researchers just put out brand new information about the Cascadia subduction zone. K2's Allison Gottlieber is at the live desk for us now. Allison, the new data comes from a 41-day research trip. Steve, that's right. In 2021, a research vessel sailed from Vancouver Island down to the Oregon-California border, and it was the first trip of its kind. Getting up close and personal with an underwater fall that could reshape life in the Pacific Northwest. There have been many prior experiments looking at um, elements of this subduction zone, smaller areas with higher resolution um, ever since the the mid and 1980s. Um, but this was the first experiment that um, systematically with the same kind of data system got data along the almost the whole subduction zone. And Trey Hugh is a seismologist who has studied the Cascadia subduction zone for years. The hopes were to define what the subsurface structure is with current technology. So there were very few profiles across the subduction zone with state-of-the-art tech, you know, acquired with state-of-the-art technology. The research trip included both students and professors who gathered data from both land and sea. Data showed this fault zone is not one continuous structure, but four separate segments. Fascinating data set that, you know, this is just the first paper to come from it and the first step in the analysis. Um, so from a scientific point of view, there are a number of, of big questions that will be answered. Trey Hugh hopes the new data will help determine how a Cascadia subduction zone quake could impact the Pacific Northwest and what could be done to plan for it. There is still uncertainty when it comes to when the big one will hit, and the last Cascadia earthquake was in 1700. At the Live Desk, Allison Gutlieber, K2 News. All right, Allison, thank you for that.